Hey guys, welcome back to yet another science video. In today's video, we will be quite adventurous and explore what would happen if the sun disappeared. Generally, the sun is approximately 333,000 times the mass of the Earth, and it has the potential to produce almost the same energy as 100 billion hydrogen bombs every second. Due to the gigantic mass, the Sun has become the most dominant and active gravitational force in the solar system. That ensures that all the eight planets that exist are firmly locked into their elliptical orbits. Concurrently, the Sun exerts powerful energy designed to heat up the surface of our planet so that it offers just the right temperature for water, which is needed by all human beings that exist. That said, what would really happen in the event that we lose the Sun? Well, considering the fact that the Sun is a very important factor in the solar system, its disappearance would be more or less a tragedy than an advantage to the Earth and the solar system at large. On that note, let's try to explore the timeline of how things would play out from the onset of disappearance to a few years later. Eight minutes after the Sun's disappearance, no gravitational pull. Based on Albert Einstein's experiments on the gravitational pull, it was deducted that gravity acts instantaneously. Following the conclusion, then the first thing that would happen at the onset of the Sun's disappearance is that within the first eight minutes of disappearance, the planet Earth, along with all the other planets in the solar system, would fly off into space. This simply means that it would be quite chaotic, if not tragic, in the solar system within that particular moment. On the contrary, light is not necessarily as instantaneous as gravity. Light travels at about 671 million miles every hour, and it has been established that it takes around 8 minutes to reach the surface of the Earth. With that said, we can deduce that we will still be able to see the Sun from a distance in the sky 8 minutes after it's gone. In an attempt to merge the two explanations, the speed of gravity is instantaneous, and the speed of light is constant. This is a solid indicator that we would feel the disappearance of the Sun before we actually see that it has disappeared. In addition, there is the notion that there is a huge possibility that gravity and light travel at the same speed. So, if the Sun actually disappeared, we would be unaware for the first 8 minutes. Now if the gravitational pull from the Sun begins to disappear, then all the planets, including Earth, would immediately stop orbiting and would begin to travel in a straight line through space. 9 minutes after the Sun's disappearance, plunged into darkness. Remember we said that we wouldn't really notice the sun's disappearance within the first 8 minutes, considering the speed at which light travels. However, 9 minutes after that, the sun would stop shining and the earth would plunge into darkness. Well, not total darkness, because the stars still may shine because they're their own source of light, and the cities on earth may remain lit for as long as the power would last, simply because there is electricity. 9 minutes after the sun's disappearance, invisible moon. Normally, the bright moon that we come across in the night sky directly reflects light off of the sun. So after 8 minutes, once the sun's light cannot be seen anymore, we won't be able to see the moon anymore as we always have. It will be more or less invisible at the ninth minute. After a few days, no photosynthesis and unbearable temperatures. Photosynthesis is the process through which plants are able to generate food and amongst the main requirements for photosynthesis to happen is the sunlight. Without sunlight, this entire process stops immediately. Based on this explanation, a great number of small plants would die within a matter of days followed by larger plants. Currently, as we speak, the Earth's temperatures are at about 80.33 degrees Fahrenheit, which contributes to our survival rate. However, once the sun disappears, the average surface temperature of the Earth would suddenly drop to about 32 degrees Fahrenheit within the first few days. Then, by the end of the first year, the temperature of the Earth's surface would be at negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Within a few days and weeks, microorganisms trying to survive and scavengers would seem to survive longer. It's likely that a great number of microorganisms within the Earth's crust have the potential to survive longer even after the sun's disappearance because they would be receiving a lot of heat from the core. However much so, multiple bacteria strains will be eliminated. Inasmuch as there would be enough oxygen left in the Earth's surface within a few weeks considering the fact that the bottom levels of the food chain are slowly dying because there is no photosynthesis taking place, animals would follow suit, then humans and scavengers would seem to survive even longer. After a month or two, 
searching for survival tactics and oceans start to freeze. At this juncture, the only real chance that surviving animals and human beings have left would be to lie in submarines in the deepest and warmest parts of the ocean where their survival is guaranteed. Another alternative would be to build totally isolated habitation zones where animals and humans can reside. Within this time period, all the oceans in the Earth would become even colder and would eventually freeze. When this happens, Earth would suddenly be transformed into an ice world. Allow me to explain this further. What would happen is that the surface would freeze, but a liquid ocean would be left underneath, just like deep lakes in the winter season. If any humans would be able to survive this catastrophe, then our only refuge would be near the geothermal vents on the ocean floor that emit heat. This logic is supported by Chris German's experiments and study. Most underwater organisms thrive around hypothermal vents found on the ocean floor. Inasmuch as it's not guaranteed that human beings would last long under similar conditions, it may be the last resort. Animals, on the other hand, would certainly thrive under these conditions as they don't really need much of the sun to live. It would be quite similar to being on hibernation mode for them. After several decades, only large trees would exist. Large trees have a longer survival rate than small plants. For this reason, they will be able to survive for several decades without having to photosynthesize. This means that everywhere you go, you would find huge canopies of trees. After 1,000 years, insulated oceans and the atmosphere would collapse. Well, considering the fact that the oceans would continually freeze with time, we can establish that after about 1,000 years, the Earth will be filled with several insulated oceans. The whole idea is that since the ocean surface freezes and the water underneath remains liquefied, the oceans would never get to a point where they're entirely solid, thus insulated. When it gets to a point at which the oceans freeze entirely and the average temperatures of the Earth's surface are at negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit, the atmosphere would then collapse. Once the atmosphere collapses, the Earth is then exposed to a very harsh cosmic radiation that directly comes from space. Just take some time and think about this. If the sun actually disappeared, what exactly would you miss the most? Is it the sunrises or the sunsets? How about the warm summer days? Would you really miss those? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, you can try out a short exercise with your family and friends. Write down about five to 10 things that you love about the sun and would miss if it vanished. Once your list is complete, ask them to vote on those that they are inclined to as well. Are there any other things that you may have come across that aren't on your list? Well, that's a great way to learn more about the sun. Hey, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button, share the video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.